Big news out west today. Jed Fish has taken the Washington job. The Athletic reporting a seven-year deal worth an average of $7.5 million per year. That's what the figures look like right now. Um, that's, that'll, that'll be released publicly soon enough. Jed Fish was the head coach at Arizona this year. For those unfamiliar, he inherited that place a few years ago coming off a 12-game losing streak, and they went 1-11 and in their first year, 5-7 and in their second year. They just went 10-3. and I mean, that is whoosh, just rocket ship of a program. And they didn't necessarily go and tear it up in the portal and, and bring in – they didn't import a winning team, in other words. They cherry-picked in the portal, but largely he brought in recruits, and they developed them there, and they won. And this past year, what's crazy – is they had Delora, who was the transfer quarterback once upon a time from Washington State, and everyone's hopes for Arizona having a good year were tied to him. He goes down, and they got a kid no one's ever heard of, except on campus behind him, and he ends up taking them to 10-3. and three. And now he's a hot name, and everyone wants to know what's going to happen. It, he's not the only one on that roster people are wondering about. What's going to happen? Are those guys going to jump in the portal? Because just like Bama players, just like Washington players, your head coach leaves, you got an exclusive window right now where you can transfer out, and it kind of puts the university in a bind, but no one's going to feel sorry for the university. So I had an initial thought on this. My initial thought kind of jibes with what I've been talking about thematically on the show recently. I've been telling you recently that I think more and more, and I hope more and more, that head coaches do not go mercenary style and climb one more rung up the ladder professionally just because it's available to them. I hope there's a minimum baseline of if I get an offer, it needs to be two or even three rungs up the ladder because otherwise I'm just moving for the sake of movement and sometimes the ends don't even justify the means. Jed Fish has got a really good thing going. He was going to be a fringe playoff contender at Arizona this coming year and now he goes to Washington and the roster up there is kind of gutted and if he doesn't import his Arizona team, you know, you look at it on the surface and you say, why would he take that? This may low-key not be a smart move for him. That was my initial reaction. But then you dive into it a little bit further. Jesse, do we have that Brett McMurphy tweet? I don't know much about the situation personally. Like, I'm not all that well-sourced at Arizona. But Brett McMurphy put out a tweet a little while ago. And this is what I always wonder. McMurphy's tweet said Jed Fish has accepted the Washington job. Arizona had the opportunity to get Fish a new deal, but it wasn't a priority for the school, a source said. So, you make of that what you will. And that could come from a number of different directions out there. Thus far, I haven't seen any strong refuting of that reporting. And so, if that was the case, which you never know, there are a thousand things going on behind the scenes you never know that factor into someone's decision. could be as simple as you don't like your AD. It could be as complex as I love my AD, but we couldn't get an extension done and I had other offers on the table. Jed Fish is going to Washington. And the third thing that could be a factor here, remember, is in the 2024 and beyond era of college football, you're going into the, I don't know what we're going to call it yet, Power 2 era, Big 2 era. And Arizona, uh, you know, as of five minutes ago, is a Big 12 school now. But you got Big 10, SEC, and there's a, there's a train of thought when you talk to some guys, at least, and agents. There's a train of thought that a bunch of coaches right now are unsure as to whether they should stay put if they're not already at a Big 10 or SEC school. There's a train of thought that maybe we should stay put because even if I'm in the Big 12 and people start looking at it as what you used to call a G5 conference, if I win... I'll get a job opportunity. Those conferences are going to be so hard to win in. So many guys are going to be getting fired. There'll be so much churn. I'll get my shot. That's one school of thought. The other school of thought is, boy, I need to jump into one of those power two while I have the opportunity because if I don't, they could just detach and float off into the college football ocean and, and we're left out here in the abyss. I think I prescribe a little bit more to school of thought one than school of thought two, but that's not necessarily indicating that's the reason that Fish jumped. He's probably got his own reasons. I'm sure we'll hear from him in the press conference. I just know, uh, listening to some folks out West, there was audio that leaked of Kalen DeBoer talking to his Washington team when he told them he was leaving. And they gave him a standing ovation at the end. I gather that it won't, 
quite be that harmonious an exit for Jed Fish at Arizona. It's never easy. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying I think, um, you know, I think some, some players out there are probably looking around and saying, really? Like, we were preached about, we were preached at to stay all in, and, and now you're not. And that's normal. That's not an Arizona thing. That's normal. But Jed Fish, a really good coach, really good coach. He's one of a few hot names in coaching right now that people look at and say, is he college football long term or is he NFL long term? It should be noted earlier today, Lance Leipold at Kansas announced he is going to be the Kansas coach this upcoming year. So his name was heavily tied to this job. I spoke to at least one person intimately involved in the coaching search, and they thought it was Leipold's job to turn down. You can never definitively prove who had an offer and who didn't. You can never definitively prove whose job it was to accept or turn down, shall I say, because only one offer is ever given. We all know that. Uh, But Washington landed a really good head coach, and now, now, Arizona's on the clock. Washington's off the clock. Arizona's on the clock. 